So Tom, how was it? You were the, the first time on Stoke or? Yeah, first time on the Stoke Boost. Uh, it was really, really fun. Um, obviously it takes sort of three ways to figure out the, the boost and the lift, the way it's um, the front foot pressure. Um, I had it shimmed a little bit too much, which made it go nose up, but once I flattened it out, it got in the way so easy on the shoulder, unbroken ways, obviously it's breaking there, but the ways that I caught were off the shoulder, shoulder away from people. Um, and on the way out, it's just dreamy. You just lie down, give it a little square. It's probably the easiest foiling I've ever done. So <laughs> do you find the biggest benefit is getting out or getting onto the way? It's both. Like you can extend the session uh, and be as lazy as you want by just full boosting on the way out. Yeah. Just giving it a, not on foil, just giving it a glide out so you can sit down, rest up. You can sit out the back, pick your sets and give it that squirt, get into it. And then just, yeah, you're, you're just not having to paddle. And so you can still pump with the uh, with the scope on yeah, it. Yeah, I think I proved that multiple times. So this is a triple nine foil with a three fifty tail. I didn't use the four boost assist to pump around and link waves, just to show that it's been done. You do have to navigate ride height. Obviously, you don't want to breach, and obviously, you don't want to touch the unit. So I am skilled in that way that I'm able to manage the the foil placement in the water, but once you've got that wide, it's uh, it's like Aladdin's magic carpet ride. And what about setting it up on the beach and getting it ready to go? Does it slow you down a lot? No, or? it's actually easy. You can pre-set it up. It just sits on your mast and then the, the lines are already there. It's just a couple of stick-ons. If I want to, you know, if the battery runs out, you know, it's just got my sun foil, just puddle it, au natural. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> and so would you recommend it to friends? Look, I'd happily switch this to somebody to give them an idea of catching waves. We could go somewhere where the waves were breaking where no one is and then have that space to learn sub foiling, which is really handy. No one starts, you know, straight away and they're really good at it. You've got to do your time in places where there's no one else and the foil boost will, the stoke boost will let you do that. So it keeps you out of the crowds and lets you get smaller waves earlier. Yeah, it improves your wave timing because it doesn't do it all for you. You still have to read waves, which applies to you if you're not using the stoke boost. So yeah. it's definitely beneficial on your foiling journey for sure. Terrific. And Sounds then, good. Yeah, look, if the wind comes up, happy to throw up my wing and use the boost to get into some wing into some waves. So, yeah, multi purpose, a lot of fun. Sounds good. Thank you.